Hey, here at Anti-Latency, we love challenging and interesting aptitude tests. Meet Max, an applicant for a junior programmer position. His task was to make a platform on tracks move to define coordinates using our system. He was provided with an alt, sockets, an extension module, a motor driver, and unlimited consultations with our team. The first step was to choose the place to mount the tracker and make a holder for it. A 3S battery was used as a power source. It was connected to the motor driver with a converter and a 5-volt output. This enabled the extension module to be powered by the motor drive. To monitor the voltage in real time, the battery output was connected to the analog input of the extension module through a voltage divider circuit. This allows the platform to stop when the minimum voltage value is reached. It helps to save on the battery lifespan. Next, we'll connect the devices wirelessly using anti-latency service, then created a placement for the tracker on the platform. After this, the outputs of the extension module needed to be configured in Unity using our SDK. We used three pins to control each motor. Two digital pins were responsible for the movement. The last one, set to work in PWM mode, was responsible for speed. Then we wrote an algorithm to move the bot from one point to another along a parabola. You can find all the sources on GitHub. A link is in the description. When the robot was ready, it was decided to expand its functionality. We wanted it to create a pattern using paper cups. In this case, the bot needed a mechanism to transport the cups from point to point. A vacuum gripper was the right solution for that, so it was constructed using a box, a fan, and a mini drone motor. We created an impeller to increase the suction force of the motor and placed it at the top of the box. To grip the cups while moving, an anti-slip silicone coating was added. We placed a control unit on the bot to control the gripper. It consisted of a DC-DC converter and a load switcher. The converter controlled the voltage of the current from the battery to the motor, and the switcher turned the motor on and off. After that, we set up another pin in Unity and connected the propeller motor to it through the extension board. All that was left was to write the code for the pin, which allowed us to turn the fan on and off. Then, it was time to proceed to the design of the device for dispensing cups. For this, we created a cup dispenser made with a cassette containing 100 cups. When the bot presses against the plates, the cups enter the dispensing compartment one at a time. A special RAM was installed for the bot to receive the cups, and the bot was programmed to move at the correct speed to press the plate. We also developed some special software, called Paper Copography, for converting black and white drawings into a scheme of points. Using this scheme, the cups would be placed by the robot. To visually present the final result, we created a 3D model of the cup. Then we developed an app with Unity and imported the scheme into it. With this software, you can also see the task's status, the battery voltage level, and the trajectory of the robot's movement. It also helps to detect problem areas where assembly issues could occur. After that, all that remained was to place the cup dispenser in the tracking area and start the task. The whole process took 15 hours, and 1,396 cups were used to make the pattern. And that's a really amazing result. What do you think?